This is ESBR Boxing. This is a special boxing betting tip show for the big fight between Tyson Fury and Derek Chisora taking place on December the 3rd. Um, not, we're not, we've not done too much content for this fight because there's Tyson Fury is such a strong favourite. There's a limit to what you can say. However, we can still discuss what the outcome is going to be, where the value is, what the odds are. And that's why Paul and myself are here. Paul, how are you? Are you looking forward to, to December the 3rd? Yeah, thanks for having me on. Yeah, I'm all good. I'm all good. Um, I'm looking forward to December the third because I'm on holiday with my mates in Poland. Yes. Uh, in terms of this fight, uh, I'll watch it if it's on in a bar or something. But um, I don't think I'll, I'm alone in saying that there's quite a lot of UK fight fans won't be paying pay per view for this. I mean, it, at the end of the day, it's Tyson Fury back in action, so that draws a lot of eyeballs. But opponent wise, um, I'm sure we'll get onto it later in the video, but. I mean, it is, it's, it's a heavyweight fight at the end of the day for the WBC title. So, yeah. 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 I think, look, we're one of, we're, we're not one of these outlets who are going to hype this fight up as if it's going to be fight of the year or say, you know, Derek Chisora is going to do this, Derek Chisora is going to do that. I feel like we know, kind of know what's going to happen in this fight, who's going to get their hand raised. Um, but I think, look, it could still be entertaining. Tyson Fury has a more entertaining style. I don't, it's not going to be a repeat of the second fight when Fury just hits and doesn't get hit back for 10 rounds before Chisora gets pulled out. It is going to be a more entertaining fight. However, um, just looking at some of the odds, if you're back in Tyson Fury to win, the odds are 1 to 20. So I'm um, hoping that's not one of your tips today. I'm hoping it being a bit more adventurous than that. Um, but yeah, I know you've got a couple, couple to share with us, a couple of questions I want to ask you as well. Um, we'll go right into it. What is your first betting tip for us, Paul? Yeah, so, I mean, I've got three in total, um, two of which are better priced than the other, but I'll start with start with the one that I think is most likely to happen. Um, and as you mentioned there, obviously, Fury, a heavy favourite, and it's, it's clear to see why. Recently, he's been getting a lot of stoppages. You know, the white one, when did that come in? The seventh round, sixth or seventh round? Yeah. Um, obviously, the, the knockout defeats of Deontay Wilder, I think, I think this fight will end inside the distance again and i think you made a point i'm not sure whether it was on one of our other betting shows or we were just talking about it that you think because a lot of people are outraged at chisora as the opponent and as you know just the fight in general that fury might want to put on a bit of a, a, a statement performance might want to make a real statement Um, so i'm just going to go from a first one and uh, for the fight to last under six and a half rounds which is 10 to 11 Fight to last on un yeah under six and a half rounds ten to eleven yeah I mean moving swiftly onto like predictions my prediction is Fury rounds one to four so I'm completely I'm completely on board with that I don't think we're going to be there in rounds rounds eight round <laughs> round nine round ten I don't think anyone wants to be in those rounds in this fight I include Derek Chisora and Tyson Fury in those in those in in the, in those people um so yeah I'm I'm kind of I'm I'm, I'm on board with that um I think that. It's unpredictable because Tyson Fury is unpredictable. You can't rule out Fury just kind of carrying Chisora for 12 rounds, but I just think then there's going to be even a, even more of a backlash, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, I'm fully, fully, fully on board with that, for sure. Yeah, no, I think it's... I'd like to say that it's a safe enough bet um, as long as we don't get the Fury of old going the 10 rounds. Because, well, I mean, it could happen. I mean, we know that Fury is able... If he just all of a sudden goes back to his... Um, box and move and switching southpaw orthodox it could well happen but I just don't see it I think he will want to make a statement I definitely agree with you um, and I know quickly I'll go on to my second one just because you mentioned there that if you were making a prediction it would be first four rounds for Fury well my prediction is Fury to win by stoppage in rounds four to six so disagreeing with you slightly there um, I do think it'll come in the first half of the fight but I'm going to go with rounds four to six simply because I think Chisora's knows he can't beat Tyson Fury at all on points and knows that after five, six rounds, he's probably going to get more tired than Fury. Um, he's older. He's lost 12 times. I think he's just going to have to go for it, really. So I think Fury will be aware of that for two or three rounds, potentially. Um, I think he could be aware of, of Chisora's threat early on, just like the uh, Chisora we saw against Usyk. Where people, you know, might have thought that Chisora won the early rounds, but he was just going for it, really, wasn't he? Um, I think we could maybe get more of that. 
But then after three rounds of little or no success, I could see Fury just stopping him. And the yeah, so it's the what the second three rounds, rounds four to six, and it's priced at five to two. So I thought that was yeah. decent enough odds. Yeah, I like that. I think thinking about it, Fury, although he, you know he had, does actually have a good KO ratio. Um, in recent years, him getting people out there early hasn't been as much of a thing. I know when he fought Tom Schwartz, I think that was round two. Um, but I just think that he's not, in terms of round early KOs in the first three or four rounds, he's not done a lot of that. So I'm I'm, I'm not against that. I just think, kind of go back to my point of saying it's unpredictable what Fury does, but I think that maybe it's not in his character to go in in round one, like a madman wanting to kind of get Chisora out of there. And it also depends how Chisora fights, because if I'm Chisora or I'm kind of training Chisora, I'd probably just tell him to just go in there and not just kind of swing, but you do have to kind of go in there like a bit like a madman, and that'll probably result in Chisora getting knocked out himself. So, um, yeah, I think uh, again, kind of not 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 a bad tip at all. Like like that like that very much. Yeah, I think I think it, it's it's very difficult to find extreme value here unless you are going those concise rounds because of yeah. because it is so one sided of a fight. But yeah. I'll I'll quickly just mention one more if you don't mind, and it's I know so unless unless well actually I'll throw it back to you first. Were you going to ask me about knockdowns? <laughs> yeah, I was going to about knockdowns. We've done enough right, well, years, yeah. But we'll, yeah, well, I will ask you about knockdowns. Go for it then, because my next one would was going to be a tip about knockdowns. So fair enough. I mean, as always, just want to ask you um, how many. I know again, I feel bad about asking you this because it's so unpredictable. Um, I'm trying to think. Chisora obviously was. Um, he's been, you know, he's been stopped a couple of times in his career now. Um, got dropped by Joseph Parker last year, three, four times. Um, so I think, in my opinion, on knockdowns, there's perhaps value slash a good chance if you're going more towards the higher numbers. In my opinion, but I'll ask you as always, how many knockdowns do you think there will be in this fight? Yeah, no, um. I th- I've one of my actual tip that I'd written out was Fury to have over one and a half knockdowns. So, you know, he just has to knock Chisora down twice. The reason I could maybe go for more than that, but it's one of them where, you know, if Fury has knocked him down twice already, will the referee just stop it because it's so one sided? Well, could could it be the the likes of the white knockdown where he just gets, you know, he can't get up at all? I don't know. It's Chisora's age and his. The amount of shots he's taken, he might he might just decide, nah, stuff this up. He's <laughs> not getting up. Um, but I'm gonna go with over one and a half. It's a seven to five. So again, mm. not huge odds, but still better than even. Still a little bit of value there if you think that Fury will get two knockdowns plus. I think out of the three you've mentioned, that's my favourite. It Tyson Fury is this is arguably the last couple of years we've seen the best of him. Whereas this is I think this is could be Chisora's last fight. And I just think if Fury turns on, Chisora's just not going to be able to handle him. And I do think that's going to result in knockdowns 100%. I can't... I'm struggling to see no knockdowns in this fight. I really am. Yeah, I think it's just a question of how many. But I do, out of all the tips you've mentioned, that's, that's my favourite one. Um, back to my question. How many knockdowns exactly do you think they're going to be? Uh, let's. I'll go with three. Yeah, nine to two. Nine to two. Okay. Like, I know it's a tricky Very thing to predict, but I just don't. I just think that there will like, surely there will be knockdowns in the in this in in this fight. If he's always getting knocked down by Joseph. No disrespect, if he's getting knocked down by Joseph Parker more than once, he's getting knocked down by Tyson Fury however many times. It's just a case of does Jazora get back up? Um, does as you said, does the referee kind of just wave it off after the third knockdown? Does 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 the referee just wave it off? Um just to confirm, if you did want to go for zero knockdowns, it's four to one, which some people might fancy. I don't know. I, not not for me, but four to one. One knockdown is two to one, two knockdowns is five to two, three knockdowns is nine to two, and I'll mention it, four knockdowns is ten to one. So it is for this fight, it is a market I'm looking at. Tyson Fury. Yeah. He look, he look, he's on a KO streak, isn't he? Really, he hasn't gone kind of points with somebody for since the first Wilder fight, which was a long time ago. So that's where, I, yeah, I'm feel like I'm overly passionate about knockdowns, but I, <laughs> I always find it really interesting. 
Yeah, no, I agree. If if throwing it back to you and putting you on the spot, if you were going to back of the four that you just mentioned there, what one would you back? Um, I'm look. I would go. I would agree with you. The same as you. Three knockdowns at nine to two. I think that's. I think. I think that's good value. To be honest, I always look at value rather than what I think is actually going to happen. So three knockdowns at five to two is very good. Or over two point five knockdowns at five to two is decent as well. Over three point five knockdowns at seven to one, but maybe that's a bit ambitious. But yeah, we 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 will see. We will see what happens. Um, final question from me, Paul. If I gave you five pounds and said put it on one round for Fury to knock Jazora out in, what round would that be? I will go for round four. Round four. Okay, that's 10 to one, which is better value okay. than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. So yeah, good luck if that's what you're going to do. But um, yeah, Paul, always been a pleasure. Um, Tyson Fury, Derek Jazora three. I feel like we all know who the winner's going to be, but we don't know um, how that person's going to win and in what fashion. But that's, yeah, always fun to discuss. Um, thank you for joining me. We'll definitely speak soon, okay? Yes, thanks, mate. All the best.